I am Lizzie with Long Distance Gamers and today I'm going to be talking about the Viticulture expansion, Viticulture World. Now I will be talking about specifically how this game plays remotely and what I think about the remote play experience. If you want to know my thoughts on this expansion by itself, do check out my Fresh Thoughts review video for the that expansion. However, this will be talking about how this translates to remote play. Okay, so here we have it set up how we play it remotely. We have every player has their four workers with the two summer and the two winter, and then the grande worker and everybody's vineyards. Now, what is different for remote play is the green cards are all separated out into individual stacks with the same cards type in each one. So all of the one red grapes are in one pack all the twos, threes, fours, you know, so on and so forth. And then we have these innovation tiles for upgrading these. They are, of course, A through P listed alphabetically. So we have A, B, C, D, so on and so forth. And then we have I through P here. For these ones, there's really no way to really organize them. So I just have them in a stack. And then the running side, this side that has everything randomized, will of course have these randomized, these randomized, and these green cards randomized. So for Viticulture World, we do need to keep track of the money and the cards people have. So what will happen is for whoever is running the game, they will of course separate out the blue and the red cards and hand them out for every player. So they might say, okay, Liz, you're starting. So the workers stay the same, so I don't pay any attention to those. And so I will grab a yellow and two blue cards and I will stick them in my area. And then I will get three money and the choice between three money or one residual. So because we have six years, I will get the one residual because that will be $6 for sure. Well, $5 for sure versus the three dollars then they might go on to brixby and so brixy will get two green cards and a yellow card and two money and two money or four money so he will go ahead and take the two residual and i will keep track of his coins and i will just for the yellow card i will just leave this face down just to show that he has one yellow card and then I will pull the two green cards that he has. So for instance, he might have a three red and a one white. So I will go ahead and put those in his area. And then we will move on to kitties. And of course, the running side is the side that is doing this. So they will be the side that will be sending a picture or just stating which it is or just showing it to this. Now it does recommend that you don't play with this because you have a choice between a worker or money. So we would just move on to the next one. So Kitty will get two purple cards and a yellow card. So because these are just face down, we would just put them face down over here. We are not tracking what actual cards they have, just the color. And then she gets five money and she could either choose to build her trellis or to get one money. She'll go, yeah, I'll take that discount and build the trellis. Once we've done this for all players, these will go ahead and get put back into the box. And of course, me being the remote side, I will not even pull these out. I will just let the running side dictate what comes out for those. All sides agree on which continent we want to play. So for instance, we might want to play Asia. So we will pull out the Asia ones and then the running side, if you are playing just normal, the first one, you could put them in order from one to six or the running side can shuffle them up while the remote sides keep them in order from one through eight. And then we put those here. We read the setup cards and we follow what they say. And the big difference is we have to take the upgrade card number one and put it on here, which that just limits us to only having one of each for here. And then what will happen is the running side will dictate which number card comes out. So maybe they will say number three will come out. So we will go through our stack until we have the number three card and everyone will follow what it says. Whoever has the best speaking voice or whoever wants to read it can go ahead and read it and then everyone follows what it says. So we put the event token on F 
and if you want to sell it you can only sell it with the grande worker then what the running side will do is dictate which ones of these come out normally you do pull out two otherwise for this one it's just one so they might say that diaz and dog comes out so we go ahead and come here pull our diaz and dog put that one out and then they might say that the aging a wine token comes out so we go through this stack pull out the aging of the wine and go ahead and put that out then what happens is everyone chooses the wake up order just like normal so maybe we agree that i should get this extra worker and i bring him over here brooksy really wants the victory point so we put him right there and then kitty wants the extra money so we put her there we take the two money and we put it with kitty's money apparently kitty really wants to buy some stuff and then we go ahead and start the game just like normal when you are paying this you would state which one you're paying and then the big thing is with these is you have to state where you want it so if you do this you would just put it wherever it is so maybe i'd put it on e and then if it does have a pay or receive you pay or receive just like normal when you're placing your workers you just need to be a little bit more vocal so i would be placing the temporary or i'd be placing the summer or i'd be placing the winter now when you're training you do need to be vocal about which one you are training so if i'm training a winter worker that is still out i'll say i'm going to train my worker that i could still place go ahead and take off his hat and place it there when you place your grande worker so if kitty would place her grande worker right here with me she would of course get to do this action now all the rest of these are the same with the exception of the purple card so because we have these cards that we don't know what they are if we want to trade it so if kitty wants to give me a purple card she would choose one of her purple cards to discard and I would grab a purple card. This can be good or bad. See, Viticulture World, you could get a wine order that maybe Brixie could really benefit from this one. However, it is so hard to separate out these cards like you would those that it's just much, much, much less fiddly to leave the cards randomized for all players and just keep track of them with these. Just turn them face down. However, it could mean that I only have white grapes and so now I'm stuck with a red grape border just like I could possibly have originally in original viticulture. But it does mean that we can move around cards a little bit easier. When you are placing the wine or selling a field, you will just simply state which one it is. So maybe Brooksy would want to place this in his seven. So he would say he would be placing his one yellow grape in seven if he would go to this plant section. But other than that, it's just being vocalized, talking about what you're doing, where you're placing your tokens. And then when you do go ahead and pass into fall, you do vocalize which one you are taking so that everyone can update accordingly. One thing about if you are playing on the other side, you can have the buildings or the structures, whatever these are called, these orange cards. There would be a place for them and a, be the ability to play with them. So these would be just like these other cards with being randomized on all sides and just placed out. And then I only will keep track of mine. I will not keep track of Brixie's and Kitty's, what they build. So Viticulture World plays great. It is a really good game. I really do enjoy it. Viticulture World remotely, you do have to change it a little bit. We tried very hard at the first to make it so that you could get the exact same card passed between the players. So that way you could be more strategic, but it just became so fiddly that we couldn't do that. So we have just randomized cards. So it's more of a random game than you have in person, which if you're okay with that, then great. You can work together and just say, oh, I want more blue cards. Can you give me one of your blue cards? Or maybe just limit it to swapping around wine or coins. So that way they could fulfill the wine orders that they have and just forget about changing out the cards because it is so random on remote play. But I do really enjoy it. And since the green cards are the only ones that are face up that everybody knows you don't have a whole bunch of stacks just piled high or having to go through this entire stack and alphabetizing it so that you can go through and find the one that you want to give out so it's just it's a lot better this way in my opinion than 
true viticulture world with everyone having the exact same card as everybody else has on the other sides, just simply for ease of play. So with that said, I still rate this a nine and a half out of 10, still the same as I rate Viticulture, still the same as I rate Viticulture World in person, simply because it is still so fun. I still really enjoy it. And you just, you have to be okay with a little bit more randomness in your strategy if you are playing it remotely instead of being able to give the exact card someone needs or could use better than you. That is really the only difference between remote play and in-person play, which just like base Viticulture or Viticulture with Tuscany, I do highly recommend that all sides have a copy of this. Otherwise, you'd be taking a picture and trying to send it or just having a really, really nice view of the board and then having people have their Viticulture and have those out. And that can be a little bit fiddly, a little bit harder to track, but if everybody has it then you're just moving kitty's worker over or brooksy's worker over just to where they state but i do highly recommend this game and until next time just remember to have fun be present and be you thank you all for watching if you have any questions or comments feel free to reach out to us we would love to hear from you also if you find value in our content please like comment or subscribe let a friend or family member know that we exist help us spread our channel and bring remote gaming to a table near you Thank you very much and have a great day.